Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the Friday Frothy here again in the Frothy Bar and Hobart Glen. Another special guest tonight. Uh, we just keep, well, you keep getting them up, uh, which has been fantastic. Thanks to Corey, actually, uh, our uh, guru and uh, uh, yeah, obviously major sponsor. Major sponsor for, for our show. So we're very pleased, mate, to have. Beautiful work. We'll, we'll introduce her in just two seconds, guys. This is the Friday Frothy. Go and grab yourself a froth. We'll be back in just a minute Buckling. with Kate Jezelenko. Guys, I'm Tommy Hughes. You're listening to the Friday Frothy. What a fantastic show. Good evening, everyone, and welcome back to the Friday Frothy, and good evening, Kate Jezalinko, yes, you, you little beauty. Yeah. You Jezalinko. There we go. Got there we go. Well, now we can see you. Hello. Thank you so much for joining us, Kate. How are you? Hey, Kate. Yeah, I'm wonderful. Thank you. How are you? Thanks we for are. having me. Ah, mate. Let's, let's get over. Let's get How cold is it in Melbourne? Yeah. Is it a degree warmer than uh, Tassie, or uh, are we uh, level peeing at the moment? It's really beautiful today. It was um, eight, eight, 18 or something, I think. It's oh, about 8 degrees at the moment. Really it's nice. I had this t-shirt on the day. Wowzers. It, it's a heat wave. It's cold anyway, <laughs> let me tell you. Kate, I'm going to get straight into it. You beauty, Jezelinko, do you cop this from your friends all the time? I cop it from everyone, everywhere I go, every bank I walk into, everyone who sees my credit card, anyone who sees everything, I've heard it. 15,000 times in my life. <laughs> do, you, do, you, do you love it or do you hate it? Oh, I don't really. I think you just get used to it, to be honest. <laughs> yeah. you, you, you can see on people's faces, as soon as they see it, they look at you and they just go, you beauty, and it's like, yeah, never heard that one before. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you're quite well known, obviously, over there? Um, no, I wouldn't say that. Dad is, yeah, um, and the name... Yeah. Is. So they see the Jezzelinko, um, yeah. Uh, yeah, they, yeah, they see the Jezzelinko, so, yeah. Well, you, you, as you would know, uh, Kate, uh, the guy, um, uh, Jerker Jenkins, as he was the Collingwood, uh, he was a, a fair footballer, big Jerker Jenkins and that, and uh, unfortunately for him, he was a very good footballer in his own right, but uh, when your dad stood on his head, uh, <laughs> he actually was known uh, in, in folklore too, in that particular scene in that mark that that's what he was uh, remembered for yes graham jerker jenkins yes. so uh, yes. but they both great it was a great it player, was but uh, was but your dad was uh, certainly, was certainly a sensational man. sorry what was that okay? the three of the months the three of the might and jerker jenkins and dad they if they were together they would um they all believe they made each other famous there was always oh, the argument no. about who <laughs> Is that right? Mike would say, if I never said that, you'd just be an unknown little wog. Dad would say, if I never jumped on your head, you wouldn't be anything. Jerk would say, if I was a wog, you wouldn't be anything. So, yeah. It's not around for you. Now, we've got, a, we've got a few questions for you tonight, and, and hopefully what we're going we're gonna to find out a little bit about you tonight. We're going to find yeah. a little bit about uh, your dad tonight. We're going to find out about what it was like growing up with your dad. Um, and, and one of the first questions I've got for you is, uh, obviously, your dad has been mentioned many times as an iconic uh, figure, and he is an AFL. And you've mentioned that he's an iconic dad. And I, I just wanted to know how much has he, because you guys are obviously very close, how much has he influenced you in your life? Oh, look, my dad is the most incredible human being I think I've ever known. He's... Um, just the softest, most gentle, beautiful man, and he's just, it's been a pleasure having him as my dad. He's, I'm blessed to have him as my dad. He's taught me how I should be treated as a woman, and um, I'm just absolutely, he's a wonderful human being, so I'm very, very blessed. That's good news. Good news. How, how is dad yeah. travelling? Is, is his health well and everything else? And I know he likes yeah, to no, he's, yeah. Doing yeah. Great. he's doing well, yeah. He's, He's got himself in lockdown um, yes. from the COVID-19, so we go over from the balcony. I managed to get inside the other day and give him a high elbow, which was good. He's doing really well. He's good. Uh, that's fantastic. So, so, Kate, what, what was a typical week like for you growing up as, as a kid with, with Alex Jezelinko, the man? 
Um, well, growing up, we had a wonderful upbringing. They, when Dad, I, I came at the end of Dad's uh, career, so I was born in '79. So, from I think '83, we moved to Queensland, and Mum and Dad ran resorts. So my life was spent in swimming pools and and having a wonderful childhood. And then we came back in '89, I think, for Dad to coach. Yep. Uh, and then it became all about football and going to training and it was just the norm for me just to be with him. I was Dad's shadow, I'm his baby girl, so I was always with him. Um, so we'd go to training every single day. I'd run with the boys around the park every day. I'd try to beat them around the park every day. I'd, you know, Mil Hannah was my big, I had the biggest crush on Mil Hannah, so if I beat him at the end, I'd... I'd sprint the 100 metres home. They were jogging and I'd be sprinting the whole way, but I beat them and I thought I was so cool because I could beat them. <laughs> well, actually, so yeah. it was, I was, it was say, wonderful. I'd have, I'd have more hair than Mel Hanna. Or yeah. <laughs> he got a little bit more hair because he, 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 was, he was losing it towards the end there. <laughs> but um, yeah, yeah. no, great play. Absolute yeah, gun. Another, a, another very good play. In fact... Let's get it out of the way now, Kay. Oh, here I, we go. I'm a one-eyed Hawthorne supporter. I actually used to get tormented uh, by a couple of guys that uh, went to a, a fairly big school and used to get tormented in those days because Carlton, let's face it, they won bloody everything. So uh, <laughs> they're on the walls. They had the Johnsons running around and uh, Marcus and Jezelinkos. And, and that, actually before that, you had the Buckleys and the Dominator, wasn't it? All these, all these wonderful names. Yep. Uh, McClure, McClure, who we would have played, McClure. Mark McClure, yeah, actually, they were, they were sellers, but uh, yeah, so um, now listen, Dad actually, uh, he was he actually was born, well, it was not born, sorry, he came through Canberra, didn't he, from memory? Or he did, yes. he did, he did come from Canberra. Where, whereabouts do you know the background there? Was he? Did he play footy for Ainsley or somewhere like that, or did you ever know? Um, oh, know? I should know this. I do know it. I can't think of it off the top of my head, but he did. Um, he played rugby through. I don't think he started playing footy until he was about 14. About 14 um, yeah. He played rugby. Really? Um, and then I, I think it was the Ainsley Football Club. I can't yeah. oh, I should I, know I, that. But. I think it might have been. I think that was the same crowd that uh, James heard. I think he was Ainsley. I think that's probably the bigger. Bigger footy club in Canberra because they yeah, uh, wasn't renowned. They wasn't they, renowned they, for football back in the day, back in those days. So, as you said, Dad obviously had a crack at uh, rugby, and uh, well, he could have done anything, couldn't he? He could have done that as well. He so. also played soccer, and I think he was brilliant at anything that um, he course. did. So just he a, just had the skill, the absolute skill. The only thing that I could ever beat my dad at was breaststroke <laughs> swimming. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Wow. Otherwise, anything like tennis, running, long distance running, anything, he would absolutely kill me. <laughs> so he was just a natural sports person in, in everything he did. Oh, absolutely, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So, did you did you go to the games uh, at all? A lot of the games, or did you just go yeah. to some games, or or did he drag you? I was you at on? every. Game. I was at every uh, game. Then when Dad left the club, I think it was 1990, I continued to go to the games. It was only until I had my children, really, that I stopped going when you've got two little babies. So yeah, yeah. Um, I still watch it all the time, and I, I love it, love it, love the footy. And uh, I know we've spoken about this, and, and we'll get to it in a minute with you know, Kane Corns and his rubbish that he went on with, but uh, your dad's not in the media spotlight and doesn't want to be. Um, but does he still is he still in contact with the the ex players and and people like that? And does he go to reunions? Uh, he is still in contact with. Um, he's very close to Jimmy Buckley. Uh, he was very close to Mike Williamson. Yep. Um, it's really strange for me because he's friends with a lot of people. They've always been family friends, so I'm unsure if they're footballers or not. So I, sometimes I get a little bit shocked when they, his dad says, "Oh, I played with him," or "I played with him," or. You know, he actually played the game too, Kate. So, um, but yeah, reunions. He's very select in what he'll go to. He thinks he's had his time. He thinks there's a hundred Jezelenkos out there now. They don't need him there. Time to move on. Um, he's really not interested in the hoo ha of it all, and yeah. he's just happy to live his life, and sit and watch CNN and watch Donald Trump. 
Yeah. No one wants to stop Donald Kate, Trump, does he? I just, I just want to... <laughs> really? Donald Trump. Kate, I just want to ask you this one. Um, does your father recognise and acknowledge how important he is and was to the game of AFL football? Or is he the type of guy who just goes, yeah, whatever. Shirks not, off. Not really. Yeah, a little bit, uh, yeah, shy. Yeah. yeah. Look, in, in our home, my mother was an incredible woman. And she never allowed, there was never any trophies or any kind of memorabilia or anything on the wall. So we were very unaware growing up of what he was. Wow. Um, she would never allow him to believe that he was any good. I recall one time Dad told me he kicked 12 goals, 11 or something, and he came home and Mum said, how embarrassing. You'd <laughs> kick 12 goals, 11 points. I have to go to the social club. He could have kicked 18 points. Oh, no. You're an embarrassment. I have to go to the social club, so she was very much in charge um, and didn't allow him to get bigger than his boots, but it's not in his nature anyway to be um, any kind of hero or anything like that. And no, he doesn't see himself as yeah. anything special. He just played the game and he was good at it and is, that was it. So. Is he still watching the game now? Excuse me. Um, not really. He, he watches it. He calls it a game of keeping us off. He can't really, yeah. he doesn't really like football. Um, he thinks it's all gone too far with all the drones and all the kind of yeah. stuff and the, yeah. how many umpires there are and all that. But he's old school and that's, you know, he played in a different era. So. It's it's funny because the, the, the majority, we've, we've spoken to a, a few of the, the elder players who played yeah. in, in the late 80s yes. and things like that and they all say the same thing. They, they struggle to follow the game. They, they just <laughs> Too many rule changes. Yeah. Too many rule changes and, uh, you know, let's face it, they made it uh, I suppose that's the way of life now. They made it very expensive for families to actually yeah. go to the football. Yeah, and and of course Absolutely. with football rights, uh, footy rights, and all this sort of thing now, it's all it's all on TV. If it's not on one channel, it's on another. So I suppose it's uh, saturated uh, in the market now. But uh, when you, as you said, when you were a young girl, and I know when I was a young fella growing up, I mean we was dragged dragged to football down here, and yeah, and 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 I went. You know, I'm not, not dragged. I'm not dragged. Not dragged. Really. I wanted to go, but, <laughs> but uh, yeah, yeah. I wanted to go. I probably, I probably had a strap on or something. <laughs> Listen, but, uh, we what's we happy when Hawks came down to Tasmania? Yeah, what was that? Sorry, when Hawks came to Tassie. Oh, yeah, yeah. Look, I look, I barracked for Hawthorne when I was about five, and I'm I'm six now, so uh. <laughs> Ah, look, it was uh, we we grew up in a in a footy family, and that was it was interesting. Uh, in in Tassie, we we obviously had some great players who your dad no doubt uh, would concur with what I'm saying, uh, and who I was lucky enough to meet. I met uh, I've met the I've had round home the great Peter Hudson, and uh, you know from Hawthorne, and uh, obviously uh, we've had the the Daryl Bulldogs and these sort of guys. <laughs> yeah. You know, down here and Royce Hart, uh, all guys that your dad had to play against and, mm. and you know, rub shoulders well, with. Right. Huh? Oh, Royce is just. Uh, Royce, right. Royce Hart's not far from here, yeah. So he was. That was who he based himself to be like, was Daryl Border. Yeah, yeah okay. well, he did. And, and actually, what we was actually talking off here, I, I was sort of just joking with Jeff that that's that your father. I mean, I was, um, when I was watching your dad play, he. He could. He was very much like Daryl Bulldog because for their size. I mean, how how tall's Dad? When, when he was playing, he's not that uh, tall, is he? Well, just over six foot tall, I think. Just yeah, but six just foot just, tall. just over six yeah. foot tall. But this is what we've sort of tried to work out. I mean, he, he's he was playing. He could play anywhere. He could play centre forward. You could then you throw him on the ball. He could rove, mm. and obviously he could take marks and stand on people's heads. But Seen when that. when you see the guys today, and we 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 spoke to Lenny Hayes. Um, uh, just here the other week, say. and uh, he he was saying the same thing. I mean, he's six two, and then then you got someone like Patrick Cripps, who you can understand at six foot four, and they're ruckmans. Oh. Like so, back in the day when uh, you had Carlton Ruckman and all these sort of guys, you know, six foot four was your main ruckman. Yeah. And now they're, a, they're now they're a sentiment. Yeah, they're so, but the class doesn't change. No. The ability that the guys had back then, I still think. Uh, Unmatched. There you go. It's only my opinion. But... Kate, are you are you up to date with all the new players and stuff? Do you know them, or do they know you, or do you spend any time at the club or anything like that? Not now. No, I'm. Look, I watch them on the on the TV, but 
the boys who dad kind of coached, I grew up with, so the Ange Christus, the Kudafidis, these boys, uh, well, not in so much. I know, I know, yeah, that, that, that team, that era, Bill Hannah, those kind of guys, um, Jono, all of them, Jimmy Buckley, they're all people that I know and yeah. um, obviously know me, but the, the boys these days, no, I don't I don't spend any time at the club at all, to be honest. I, I was just trying to think, Kay, but what, what nationality is Jezelinko? Uh Ukrainian. Ukrainian, that's right. I was trying to remember. I, I've read it and I, I had forgotten. Mm. I should have known. Yeah, but it is Ukrainian. Well, isn't it? Yeah. Wait, let's let's get into the hard questions. Um, ah, well, cane see. corns. What's going on? Um, <laughs> I, I I listened to it the other day and um, I, I just I loved your comeback and I'm a bit surprised that you didn't get a little bit more fiery with him because he deserved it. But uh, what's your thoughts on it, Kate? Let's let's let loose. There you go with the Kate. Have a drink, have a, have a yeah, glass of wine before you. I'm so over it. But anyway, my <laughs> issue was that Kane Corns, whoever he is, came out and made a statement that Dad's mark was overrated and not even in his top 50. Now, I think this guy sometimes says things just to make himself relevant. Yes. Um, my, my argument was not... Was Dad's mark the greatest? Obviously, there have been some incredible marks over the time. Yep. Dad's mark has been voted mark of the century. That's just reality. Um, and for Kane Corns to come out and say, call it overrated to get himself some attention or, I don't know, create sure. something for himself or something, I think there's a certain line that you can cross with the legends of the game, and Dad is a legend of the game. 100%. Um, and I think that these comments are unrequired and say it wasn't the best mark, say you don't believe it was mark of the century, that's absolutely fine, but do not ever call a man like my father overrated in any sense of anything and that that was just my point. Who, who, do, who the hell do you think you are yeah. calling it overrated? Exactly. Not about the mark at all. No, it well, blew it blew up if it was I was you know I'm just this idiot who thinks that my dad has this best mark or whatever no, nothing to do with it. No, I, I listened to it and I could I could see where you were coming from and you you made your point very clear and uh, you know and I just I, I know you want to say something but I just wanted to throw in there that you know we started off the show saying that uh, that he is an icon and what he's done for the game that you beauty a that coach clip is, a coach everything. It's not just yeah. a play. It's, it's a not coach. just the mark. It's a, the whole. Thing. He was a father. He mm. was. He was everything. But well the, the, the yeah. thing that is wonderful man. Yeah. Yes. Well, the thing that uh, the other thing is, Kate, that was missed on uh, Mr. Corns, idiot. But uh, <laughs> the Cole, thing that was Cole, missed Cole. on missed was that the fact is that that was in a part of the game too, uh, where Carlton were down. Now your dad turned forty-four. The game. Yeah. That's exactly right. And the, Yep, the 44 points was it. Well, the thing is, he turned the game. That mark, that was part of it. That was the start of it. That mm -hmm. traditional great call, um, that's why it was folklore. But but to do it at the time, and that's in, in, you know, the Carlton were down and out. Yeah. And then that, that changed the whole game. So yeah. that's why that, that mark is still, and still will be, for people who, I think the Jonathan Browns, all these other people were well behind your dad, uh, that have been in the game. Yeah. It was just Kane Corns, as uh, as you say, perhaps trying to get a little bit of. Uh, He's trying to get a story. Trying to get a, get a story and a bit of attention, Kate. So I wouldn't uh, I wouldn't yeah, waste your. All the time, so. But I do want to say that after that show, when I called up SEN because I had cracked it that night when I heard the comments, I absolutely cracked it as you heard. If you heard that radio. Yep. No, um, no, no, no. I, I want to say Andy Ma immediately after I got off the phone sent me a message saying. Um, your father is a champion, will always be a champion. Don't ever let anybody's opinion of anything ever put you down. He's a champion of the game. So yeah. I really appreciate it. I thought it was beautiful. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I just, I still stick with it that uh, whether you think it's the best mark or it's not the best mark, he's he's laid the pavers in AFL to get to where we've got to. You know, oh, it's, absolutely. It, part, of, part of a big group of a lot of players who were the best the, of the best. The, the young guys coming through today in any football, and whether you're, uh, you know, you're just... You're a young kid just starting off in the in Oz kick or something like that. But the, the guys like your dad and the Bulldogs and all these, these are the guys that they talk about. Yeah. And uh, yeah. they, it, they'll always be spoken about when we're all 
gone, you know, when we've left, left the planet. Planet. So, sure. yes, a fantastic place. You know, I, I, I get a lot of messages. Sorry, I was just going to say, I get a lot of messages from people of European ground. Yeah. And they say that because Dad was one of the first European people that he made it in sport, and that's why a lot of people and Europeans started following um, Carlton because it was almost like he was the first kind of walk to come in and, and play and be successful and they appreciate that. So um, he's, a, he's a very special man and I just don't think that anyone should use the word Jezelenko and overrated in, in a sentence and that's yeah. just coming from me as his daughter and that's my opinion and I will stand by till I'm blue in the face. No, yeah. good do, on you, mate. Do, do you like a game, uh, did he like to go out after he uh, finished footy? Did he, did he like to have a hit of golf or... As I think he said tennis or something. Do you like to play other sports and you know, as a as a hobby? He played golf. He's uh, fishing. He loves fishing. He likes fishing. Yeah. Um, he's great, great at golf. Um, but when he was on for football, he was on. He just he's one of these men that. If he says he's going to eat soup for 10 weeks, he will eat soup, breakfast, lunch, and dinner for 10 weeks. It's, yeah, it's yeah. just, I think that's what you've got to be to be a champion, to have that frame of mind where you just are able to stick to, you know, what you do. And, and he's an incredible human. He's a wonderful man. Yeah, yeah no, exactly. No, that's fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Yeah. Well, Kate, we've run out of time here. It, it's just been absolutely fantastic to talk to you. I could probably talk to you. Oh, we'll talk half, half a bloody night and find out a little bit more, but uh, we're running out of time. Um, can I let the cat out of the bag and just say that there's a possibility we might be talking to Trent Crow next week? Is that right to say? <laughs> if no, he's what? not busy cleaning the kitchen, that's right. That's or right. if the washing hasn't been, we'll be allowed to come on. But yes, you'll. <laughs> I just want to know. I, I, I want to know what he's cooking and what he <laughs> and what dessert and and all that sort of stuff. So yeah, no, well done. Well done. Thank you so much. No, my lamb roast is <laughs> now, look, we appreciate you uh, coming on and that. And uh, look, it, it's for everyone. It, it, the game of football uh, is enriched our lives. Anyone who was involved with footy and has followed football. Yeah. So as the, the, the name, just the whole family, Jezelinko, uh is just in folklore. Yes. So uh, thank yeah. you. Thanks for coming on the show. And and, uh, and thanks to, to, thanks to Corey, Corey our, our, for, our for um, you know, uh, being in touch with you and, and letting you, know, you coming on. So... Yeah, sit back and then uh, you can sit back and watch us uh, make fools ourselves. Make fools ourselves <laughs> for the rest of the night, if you like. So uh, thanks, oh, yeah. Kate. <laughs> you will. Oh, no. <laughs> Kate, thank, thank, you thank, you you, thank you so much for coming on. We'll, no. we'll be in contact with we you, will. and uh, it's been lovely to talk to you and, and just find a little bit more about the great man, yeah, Alex Jezolinko. Absolutely. Mm. Jezolinko, you beauty. There you go. <laughs> Finish it off with it. Thanks so much, Kate. <laughs> thanks, Kate. Bye. Talk soon. There you go, guys. Thank you so much to Kate Jezelenko. A little bit of an insight there of uh, of, of the, the great man's life. And, uh, He's, uh, look, he was sensational. As I said, the, the worst thing, mate, when you're watching, uh, the, yeah, as I said, North Melbourne, Hawthorne, is just that they were too damn good yes. when he was playing. So uh, we didn't get much of a look in. But uh, anyway, no, he was good. So, he was. And, so, and uh, very nice to... Uh, Yes, she was lovely, lovely to talk show, to. Lovely to talk lovely to. to talk to. And we just said thank you very much to Corey, who was our sponsor here on the show, Corey's Garden and Landscape, because Corey actually set that up for us. And uh, Corey did set it up, it's, and uh, he's, he's, just over there, so. he's an extremely busy man. An extremely uh, I said that. Uh, very extremely busy man. Carlton supporter. Passionate Carlton supporter. I think yeah. He's more passionate than I am Hawthorne, do you think? No, yeah, he probably is. is. I, he is. I reckon he is. Guys, over. if you're in Hobart and you've got anything to do on your house, whether it be landscaping, yep. decks, pergolas, whatever you want to Absolutely. do, give Corey a call. This is his number right here, Al. So, there, yeah, thanks so much, Corey. Appreciate it, mate. Beautiful, beautiful Lovely. work. All right, Glenny, let's get into the show, guys. Uh, if you're new to our show and you don't know what we do, we uh, get in here every week and we talk sports and uh, 
we don't just talk sports. We interview great people such as uh, Kate just then as we spoke to. We spoke to the fantastic, fantastic Anna Mears. Well, she was enlightening, wasn't oh, she? It was a thralling, um, thralling interview. Huh? World champion, Olympic champion, Commonwealth Games champion cyclist of Australia. And uh, I'll tell you what, I'm going to give it another plug. Get out there, there and, and buy that book, Anna Mears. Fantastic read. So, uh, yeah, she was a gem, mate, and that'll be on probably next week. Now. We've got a few interviews that we've pre-recorded that we'll start leaking on onto the show. So keep an eye on our Facebook page. Guys, if you haven't subscribed, please get on, because I had another look today, and there's 54% of our views are not subscribers. So help us out help and us subscribe, out. and uh, we'll start. To, we'll continue to get these great guests that we're, that we're getting on and having a chat exactly. to. So, um, now... I haven't seen any comments come up here, so I don't know if my yeah. phone's working. Is anyone... Yeah, there's comments. Restart those comments. There are? Sorry, guys. I, I can't see any comments, so I'm going to just do this. Glenn? Close and open again. Yes. Turn it off and on again. Have yeah. you turned it on and off again? <laughs> um, so, what I was going to say is, it's not all bells and whistles and... Gra oh, here we go. Look, sorry, guys. I hope you weren't asking me questions because I didn't have anything. Uh, roll call. Hello, everyone. Hello, Juanita. Uh, hello, Rob and Kate. Hello, Leah. Hello, Leah. Go. Hope you're feeling better. Uh, the Captain Fettuccini. Hello, Frothers. How are you, mate? I'm assuming Kate. Something to do with AFL. Good work. That is that's correct. Uh, Mendo's on. Jamie. Benny Presnell. Hey, Benny. Uh, Jamie's Jamie's here. Get out, Jamie. How are you, mate? Uh, Juanita. From all the AFL players that you had the time to hang out. With, what qualities have you learned from to add your? Sorry, Juanita. I didn't have any of the questions in front of me. Hey, Jeff. Did you spill some of your dinner on your shirt tonight? You tried to do that last time and it didn't work. Um, Alicia, hey, hey, my beautiful. Hello, Alicia, we haven't seen you before. And hi, Ray. Razor Ray, hello, 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 hello. Hello, everyone. Hello, Razor. Beautiful. Yeah, now, all I was going to say, guys, it's not all bells and whistles and it's not a lot of fun sometimes doing interviews. And we've got a couple of pictures here, Al, have you? Um, for two weekends in a row on a Sunday, Glennie and I turned up nice and early to do an interview. Well, I'd say with who? No, interview cricket. But this is what we got. Al, you got some pictures there? <laughs> I'm just playing now. Oh, nice work. Nice work, well. How's our producer, if you're new? Producer. She's uh, behind the camera. So we, we sat around for a while. Crickets, crickets, it's crickets. About two degrees, wasn't it? It was cold. And then uh, <laughs> we came back the following week, did it again. So it's. There, there was more crickets. <clears throat> we, <laughs> we, we get to talk to a lot of fantastic people, but um, sometimes. Sometimes things, it just doesn't work out. Just doesn't, don't go to it plan. It doesn't work out. Just doesn't go to plan. But tonight was a great interview, and I really enjoyed talking to Kate. That yeah, was, no, it was really good. Uh, it, was, it was excellent. Mm. So we, we do, we, as we say on our uh, on our little show, that we talk to everyone. Oh, and and, 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 and that. Last week, Nat oh, Wickham. Nat Wickham was uh, terrific too. So, that too. Yes. so uh, hi to, to Nat out there. Yeah. Uh, again. And no. one, one more thing, Lenny, before we actually kick on to the show, I just wanted to say to also to people, fly into July, get on to oh, it. Yes. Uh, if you're not aware of it, it's a, it's a charity event that Nat Arnold, who is one yes. of our viewers and a fantastic uh, <laughs> guest that we had on who's raced in seven continents around the world, yeah, uh, it works out a dollar a day. Oh, $31, Thirty-one dollars, dollars for a dollar month. a day um, for the whole month of July. Of July. What, what a great, to... what a great month that is. Whoa. July. Just got to count your steps. You log it in uh, every Sunday. You be part of a team. You can be single. You can do whatever you want. Uh, half of that goes to your charity that you want to provide to. And there's four charities that you can provide. And one is Little Heroes. Uh, oh, jeez, Nat, I, you need to help me out. I haven't got it written in front of me. But no, no. go on to Fly in July onto their website. Have a look. $31, a dollar a day is all it costs. And uh, get on board and lose some weight that we've all put on over yes, uh, well, isolation. Yes, we? a little bit there. Mm, mm. Anyway, here we go. Out with it. Glenny, what is it? Look, out with it, uh, Jeff. I had to pause on that, didn't I? Oh. Out with it is anything that, mate, uh, that really, I don't know, you could get on our go, to get on our viewers' go, and uh, that's what it is all about, Jeff. That's the best way that I can put it. Here we go. Have we got out with it? Yes, we have out with it. Here we go. Ah, oh, out with it! Now, Glenn, I don't know if I should be saying this or not, but I think the world's gone mad and we talk about this quite a lot. And, I mean, obviously this is going on from the, the Floyd, Pink Floyd murder and, I should say, Pink George, Floyd, George, George Floyd. Floyd. Um, <laughs> George, no. Oh, he's related. He Pink is his brother. Yeah. Um, the England rugby looks like they're going to ban the Swing Low Sweet Chariot um, song, which is, oh. it's been it's been sung in the crowd since the nineteen eighties. Sweet or sweet chariot. That's just that's a song, all. is it? It's it's linked to slavery. 
So, oh, I didn't know that. So they're, they're now looking oh, well. at banning it and so taking it away. Six foot, seven foot, eight foot, yeah. to bunch. That's the problem. When does it stop? Because we're going to end up with nothing. I mean, they're taking all the TV shows off. We're, that's, That'll be the end of Beetlejuice. We're, we're, well, it will. We'll have nothing. We'll have, yeah. Paw Patrol. It's bad. I mean, Tropic Thunder with uh, Robert Downey Jr. So, so, what, what, so what was a, a terrible thing that happened. Of course it was. Uh, of course got, it was. We've got no doubt and we're, um, you know, we, we try and look. Our shows are ha about having a bit of fun. Yeah. Obviously it's not yeah. a, it's not one of those subjects that's uh, that to be taken lightly with, but then again, we're in Australia and uh, there's a lot going on down here and it's, it's escalated, hasn't it? And uh, I know um, good Sam Newman, he's in a little bit of strife too yeah, with uh, one, some of his comments. Yes. But yes. look, he, he has got a point or... Uh, which I won't go on about, but uh, he has got some points in that. That uh, you know, uh, yeah, he was he was above he, he wasn't above the law. The yeah, guy. that's what I will say. When he so. just uh, said, "Come on, people, common sense," you know, they're they're, they're taking shows off TV like Gone with the you, you Wind. Can't, and, that's right. Um, I mean, how far do we go? Uh, back? Well, that's what I mean. We'll, we'll end up like a communist state where we, we're not allowed to say but, or watch anything. We'll but, be told but, what but we we're can white. Watch. Uh, and and black and and whatever the, the racist part goes both ways yes. too and yeah. and there's people being killed in America. Mm. The big thing they don't mention over there is that they all carry guns. Yes, and whether they're police or whatever. I wish I perhaps if they got rid and they had gun laws like we have down here. Yeah, perhaps half of this stuff wouldn't happen. It, it mightn't happen. Mightn't happen. Anyway. But mate, there, there you go. I, I didn't want to bring it up because we're no. not political on the show. No, we're not. Political. Um, but you know, how far is too far? I just wanted to put that out. You know, we're, we're getting rid of statues. We, you know, we're. We'll probably get rid of dogs of rabies. We've, we've been we've been locked up for months, and uh, we had uh, you know we've got people uh, you know protesting all over the world. Yes, and, uh, yes, I, I, and, uh, for a good cause. For I a don't good cause. Cause, good but, cause. Uh, half the, of it, not, some of it was, and not all of it was. Not the right time no, to be no. doing it. Anyway, that's yeah, we've that's, been that's, we've that's, been political. Yes, we're going to you know, stop doing that. Yeah, we're, we're, we're not, really not going to be political anymore. again. That's all right, now. Was that was that out with it? That's out with it. Done. Yeah, yeah. That's the end of that. Get me going. Ah, out with it. Odd Sports. I haven't seen it. We don't ever get to see it. It's made by a producer. Yeah, it's producer. Very and uh, it goes a bit like this, Ali. Put it up. Beds. Great for sleeping, watching a movie on a rainy day, and a bit of afternoon delight. In fact, according to Dodgy Polls, we spent about a third of our life in one. I mean, who doesn't love laying around in the bunk? What if I told you that this is exactly what you can do in this next odd sport? That's right, tonight I bring you the worldwide sport of bed racing. So long as you have a few fit bed bugs, aka mates, that can be seduced by the bedposts into pushing you about. Mattress factories around the world are pumping out the posturepedics for this one, folks, and all for a good cause. And while some lucky bastard gets to lie back and enjoy the ride, the dust mites, aka mates, set path on a ruling four and a half kilometre course, while spectators throw objects at them like water balloons and pillows and prophylactics and I'll let you decide on which one of those is correct. Remember, they raise them tough down here in Oz. Many of these fantastic sporting events are all in the name of raising funds for a range of different charities. Unfortunately, the beds were needed this year and they have had to postpone until next year like as many sports. Curse you COVID-19! This would be a sack of fun. What themed team would you put together for this one? Until next week, Frothicizers. Well, that was quite a long one. We, we still haven't seen it, so uh, was it any good? Was it all right? It's you called know? bed racing. Bed Crazy. racing. Bed racing. <laughs> Crazy bed, bed racing. racing. Well, there you go. Yeah. That's another odd sport. Yeah. <laughs> Juanita. Oh. I can see Glenn on that. <laughs> one of those. It's a sport I can do, I have to get to watch it. I have to get to watch it. All right, guys. Don't forget tonight we've got uh, the big trivia coming up very, very shortly. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the big Corey's wheel coming up and the wheel, not great, the wheel. Great for the wheel. We love the wheel. Some great prizes coming up, and just for those who've won prizes, I've got to let you know they're all in the mail. They're all in the way. So they're all in the way. Yeah, they're in the mail. They're in the way. On the way. I, I, I've been slack and. Uh, 
they're coming. And I haven't seen Greg tonight, so he may not be here, but he'll be oh, here. He'll be here. He, he hides Hiding. in the background, you know what he does. All right, bit of sports <laughs> news before we get into the trivia, guys. Uh, Glennie, for the second straight week, Richmond has comprehensively been beaten. Well, let's get it. Let's, uh, look, look, you want me to comment on that? Oh, let's have a talk. Let's have a talk. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, let's have a talk about it. Uh, write us off at your peril. <laughs> I'm looking down the barrel when I said Yes, yes, you yes. You know, I, I, look, I just thought it was sensational, mate. Let, let's be honest. Richmond are a brilliant side. Yes. And, and probably still favourites uh, for the for the flag, but every dog has his day, mate. And uh, as uh, Mr. Corns commented mm. before with the great Jezelinko, yes, write someone off, and, that, and that's what happened to champions. Your own peril. Champion sides, mate, come yes. back, and that's exactly what they did. Not since 1961 has Richmond 12, yeah. been, uh, had a, a, a scoreless quarter, a goalless quarter. Wow. Well, they have, they, and they've done it for two two weeks in a row. They, so, have, they haven't been beaten for 12, what was it, 12 weeks? Not since 1961 have Richmond gone consecutive weeks without registering a goal in the opening quarter of football. Move that one over there. That one? Yeah, move that one over there. So there you go. Uh, good old Richmond. Rob would love that because he loves his AFL. He the, does. The other thing I was going to do while I'm just pouring this beer for, for Al, um, my apology. Whoops, that's going to overflow. Uh, the second thing, Collingwood President uh, Eddie Maguire has brought up the idea that the Sharon football has ah, been yes. too slippery. I, I comment on that. Don't well, we? just one second. Before you do, I've come up with an idea for a new football. Alan, what have you got really? the picture there? Uh, new football? Yeah, the new football for Eddie Maguire to stop it being slippery. I reckon this is a great idea. You got that on there? Yeah, there you go. I reckon that'll solve all the problems. Glenn, if you have a look on here, oh, look sorry. at that. A big fluffy football. Oh, that's well, that's there you go. the way. You can use it as a pillow after he's done. You, 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 you to can. Be there you go. It's actually got band aids on that one, too. <laughs> so um, that, that might work to stop the slippery slippery ball. Well, Rob yeah. would be loving this. Exactly. Style. Well, they were tossing around on one of the shows the other night. They had, you know, you know, a rugby ball's got little. Like little pimples all over it. Yes. And uh, that makes them grip the ball. Well, well, yeah, well, that's it. But perhaps they, well, actually, Ange has just come up with a ripper. Perhaps if they used a little bit of scuff, scuff, scuff <laughs> on there out of the trousers. Oh, yeah, that makes me bad. Oh, I don't go there. Well, you can't play the gate on football. Well, what's wrong with that? Oh, jeez. Well, they're going to grip the ball. Of dramas. <laughs> Talk, talking, talking about dramas, uh, just just one more thing when I felt guys very we switch over to a little bit of NRL. Really. Uh, Glenny, do you watch Big Brother? Uh, no, no. All no, right. Watch Does the name Sorry. Daniel Gorringe make any sense uh, to you? I think he was an ex Gold Coast, went to Carlton, did he, Corey? Yes. Yeah, Carlton played, played a big game. So actually, I was never going to put him in the same. Well, I wouldn't put him in the same sense as. Um, Jason Link, eh? No, no. We're not we're not here to make we're not here to make fun of Daniel because he's on Big Brother. No, yes, he's not. But I just want to I've got a little clip to play because yes. I know you haven't seen it. You don't watch Big Brother and guys I, I don't there, watch Big Brother. If you haven't seen it, but you know of this Daniel guy who's in Big Brother, mm -hmm. I've got a clip here that'll sort of explain you, you're why giving him, you're giving him a clip. Why he didn't make it in AFL. Right. Al, can you show that clip? Daniel. Oh, oh I'm in a state of panic now. Sweating. Almost started crying. No! 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 no. Oh! oh. What's he looking at? Please eat. There you go, guys. That is why oh, God. poor old Daniel didn't make the AFL. <laughs> I, you know, I just don't. I know. He it, obviously it, doesn't like pigeon pie, mate. Anyone out there scared of pigeons or birds? Let us know because. Um, it, careful about to take a picture of it. Well, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm, well, I'm sorry. I've dragged well, you out of the bus there, what, Daniel. What, what, but, well, yeah, sorry, Daniel. It was on national TV. So what do you do? Yeah. I, reckon, <laughs> what do you do? I reckon he stands probably about six four, doesn't he? No, he's a big he's boy. Six five. He's a big boy. Like that, but he just shrunk there. I can tell you, <laughs> mate. Hey, listen, uh, and thanks for that footage, Daniel. Um, mate, the Broncos have lost their past four games and yeah. have not scored a second half try since the competition. Remember we spoke about this last year, yeah. they were in turmoil, and they came back, they actually, remember they got on a bit of a roll, but 
I don't know if they will this year. No, they mate. Might, uh, no. They may be struggling. They reckon uh, Andrew Johns, the, the legend uh, for NRL, has said uh, drop the million dollar man Anthony Milford and promote oh. to promote the young half uh, Tom Dearden. So uh, well, what do you think of that, Rob? Although you don't probably go for the Broncos, but uh, you probably go for a good team like Parramatta, I, I would suggest. Who, hey, Rob? Yeah. 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 you Parramatta man, Rob? <laughs> Turn it up. <laughs> So, yeah, yeah, there you I'll go. Right, right. Uh, one more thing. We probably could have gone in, into out with it tonight, Glenn. Um, Australian wheelchair chan- uh, tennis champion Dylan Alcott. Not happy. Uh, no, not, not at all. No. Um, I'm, I look, I'm a bit side by side on this one. Is, is Did what you want to go anyway? Oh, let's tell, tell a story. Um, Dylan Alcott has, uh, they've been told, sorry, there's no um, wheelchair tennis in the US Open this year. It's only for able bodied players. Which is, a, Why is it? which is a bit wrong. Bulldogs. Wrong. Bulldogs he goes for. Uh, that's a shame, Rob. Um, I don't know, mate. Because of all the things that are happening with, uh, with COVID-19 and coronavirus, whatever you call yeah. it. And, uh, but as I said, would you want to go, really, to the USA? What's the mm. difference? Able-bodied or not able-bodied? No, no, it, it should be open. But, yeah, w- but would you want to go anyway if you're abled or not able to? At the moment, I'd be staying home. I'd be staying home. But too. yeah, it's, it's a pretty bad goal from, from it, Tennis it, America. It is, so, it is, it is wrong, actual fact. And uh, he's, he's justified by saying that. Too. Yes, eternally disappointed. Yes, yes, we all are, Rob. We all are. One more thing, Glenny, and this is a bit of tongue in cheek because we're talking soccer, and I don't normally talk soccer on the Friday oh, Frothy. Soccer, don't we? <laughs> Uh, I have to read this because I don't know the names. Manchester City star Eric Garcia left the field on a stretcher after a sickening collision with a teammate in his 3-0 win over Arsenal in the Premier League, which restarted today. Um, sickening. Have a look at this footage that we've got. I bet it's sickening. What was it, a nail or...? Because <laughs> I don't have it. <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> What's going on here? <laughs> What's going on here? You put the bowl on it. The bowl. You got on. the bowl on. Oh, Why'd you do the bowl? Because I, I didn't have the other one. Oh no, we haven't got the soccer player. <laughs> it was the guys falling over without getting hit. So. Well, there you go. Uh, well, let's go. Uh, that, 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 um, I'm gutted. Sorry. I'm gutted. I'm sorry. That's gold. That's stuff. That is gold. Too right, Juanita. Darts is back on the UK in July. Well done. Hey, the Don's back. G'day, Don. How the are Don. you, mate? We've missed the you. Don Meister and, Li- and Lizzie. Must he's, be there. he's just back in time for the trivia. Corey's, Corey's Garden, the Lance and General Knowledge trivia. Round three. Round three. Here we go, guys. Here's some scores. Now, if you're watching this for the first time, you can get in at any time and play. You've just got to make sure you're subscribed, and then you can actually just answer the questions, and it's really easy. Anyone can win. Anyone can catch up. And here's some scores currently. Greg Kelly from Queensland is on five. Razor Ray from Queensland is on four. Natalie Arnold from Queensland now, I think, is on four. Benny Presnell from Tasmania is on four. Brent Forsythe from Tasmania is on two. Captain Rob is on two from Queensland. And James from Ballarat is on one. I haven't seen James tonight. You there, no, James? No, no. Uh, he might be he's frozen there. up in there. He is here, is he? Pretty cold there. So there you go. Well, pretty cold like here. Or be a cold day in Ballarat. <laughs> cold day in Ballarat. Don says he's been here from the start. It's the first welcome. Oh, hello, Don. Oh, I haven't seen you. I didn't, I didn't uh, have anything on my phone. I, and, I, and look, hello to all the apologies. viewers that we've got there. I uh, hope you've got your... I hope you're ready to answer these really tough questions. Really tough. Really yeah. tough. Don, and for all the new viewers out there, oh, you were here last week. explain the game because, uh, yes, yeah, we, we, we had a problem because uh, one of the people who was playing was just too good or his internet was too good anyway. Well, so Dominant. We've put a stop to that. He was a got, dominant player. We've put a yes. stop to that. So we've brought in a dice and how this works is we've also gone from sports trivia to general knowledge and sports, Glenny. Yeah. So yeah, it, could, yeah. it could be music, it could be film, it could be oh, anything. Sorry. It could yeah. be beer. could be beer. But what we do is before every question, we roll the dice. And then basically, you have to answer. And then if it rolls up number five, then it's the fifth person who comes up with the correct answer wins a point. And it's one point per question. Uh, and there's ten questions. And then there's a bonus yeah, question. And then we, we the, with the bonus question, uh, we pull the will out, you mate. Could, you could win weekly prizes. And it goes, over, comes t- out. goes over ten weeks, Glenn. And yeah, anyone nice. can win. And at the end of ten weeks, you'll win a prize. And I don't know what that'll be. But last one was $100. $100. $100 went, uh, went Queensland. It did go to Queensland. Go to Queensland. So, and that's on its way to, to young Gregory Kelly. So here we go, guys. Uh, we're going to start off. With rolling the dice, Glenn. Go. 
So it is number. Oh, jeez, it's so a big one. It's a nine. It's a nine. It's a nine. It's not a six-sided dice either, guys. No, it's ten no, sides. No, so. No. so it's number nine to start the trivia off. Are we ready to go? Big drum. All right. Take it away, Glenny. Okay. Round three Where's is Dawkins Corey coming? Sports and General Knowledge Trivia. Mm. Mm. Question one. Dun, dun. Take it easy. You take it easy. Okay, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Witchy... Witchy Woman Witchy. and Desperado Ooh. are songs from which band? Oh, which band? Take it easy. Witchy Woman and Desperado <laughs> from which band? And we're looking for number nine. So the answer, which band? Which band and which band? Question, answer number nine. That's the Eagles is one. He got in early, Jane. Got in early, mate. It's yeah. just too early. No one else knows the question, though. You They'll could, get caged. You, you can't tell them. You could have written this ten times. Uh, nine times. One, two, three. Keep Ooh. going. Three. Yes, we've established this. The Eagles. <laughs> Four. Four. Five. five six, six. Seven. Eight. eight. No. Nine. Juanita! <laughs> Juanita! Oh, oh, she got in before the dawn. Good oh. girl. Uh, Juanita's ca she is ca that is That is what you call... She just sat there and played the game. ...for number Play nine. Played the game. Well done. Juanita from Western Australia. Uh, well done, Anita. Well that done. is very smart. Well that is very done. smart. Quiz Woohoo! All oh, right. Man. Question number two, guys. <laughs> is number five we're looking Ooh, for? Number five. number five. Here it goes, guys. Number two. Name a car manufacturer other than Ford or Holden that recently raced in the V8 supercars. Name Ooh. a car manufacturer other than Ford or Holden that recently raced in the V8 supercars. We're looking for number five. Go for it. Type away, kids. One. Two. Three. Four, five. Oh, geez, it's Juanita again. It is. Juanita again. She's on fire. Woo! The Two West, in a row. The West are coming back. See what I mean? Anyone can win this because it's just the way that it's set up. Oh, razor, right. razor. Where were you? Hey, V8 supercars. Whoa. Beautiful work. Okay. All right, there we go. There we go. This one is. Ooh. Ooh, is it one oh, or seven? Bloody seven. 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 It's another big one. Okay, question three. Ooh. What is Air's Rock Indigenous name? Ooh. That's a pretty hard one, isn't it? Indigenous, indigenous name. Indigenous name. Looking for number seven. What is Ayers Rock Indigenous name? Number seven. <laughs> one, two, three. Oh, there he is. He's there here. Is. Look, He's in. Greg Kelly. Hey, Three's yeah. here. Three, four. Come on, guys. Robin, Robin Ray must be sharing the phone or Rob's something. Got quick three, three to go. Uh, Surprise! He isn't typing it. One, two, time. three, four. Three to go. Five. <laughs> six. six. One more. Next one. The Don. Ray. The Don. The Don Meister. Oh, there. Ange nearly got in there. Oh, just missed by one. Ange is just. Oh, I'll tell you what, that was close. That was not. It was centimetre perfect. That, uh, the that was Don. Committee, there. Benny Presnell being very quiet tonight. Yes. He won four last week, Benny. He did. He was on fire <laughs> last week. Well, they were only early in, so well done, guys. Keep keep with it. Keep with it. Anyone can win. All right, here we go. Oh, that didn't roll. I'm not doing a nine. Uh, you can't see. It's a oh, three. Oh, it's a three. It's, it's a, a three. three. You trust us on that. Looking for number three. Question number four, guys. Big Eye, Grunt, Oscar, and Snook are types of what? Cleves Tips. <laughs> <laughs> they, they bloody were last week, I can tell you. Big Eye, Grunt, certainly, Oscar, certainly and the Snook. Snook. Certainly the Snook was. <laughs> what are they? Uh, well, no, they Yes, they they they're not tuna. Yeah, they way. they are types of fish. So that's two, one, two. No, we've got to go with the fish, don't we? What's well, fish. fish? They're all different fish. They're not oh, tuna. Corey, two, three. three. That's it, Corey. What? Oh, three. There's three. Yeah, it's Corey. Three. Yep, that's Corey. Corey Oak. Corey. That's Corey's on the board. Sorry, guys, I can't say tuna because it's it's just all different types of fish. They're not all tuna. Yes. Oscars are actually the fish that you have in your fish tank. The, oh, you know, the little, really big ones. Oh, they're, they're, they're the big, the big bison. Yeah, okay. yeah. And well, no, Corey, and, and Corey's in. Snooks, uh, I think, a, a UK fish or something. I think so. God a damn. salmon. God damn. God damn. Uh, so it was Corey. It is Corey. Well done. Well done. So, all right, okay. number five. Go for it. Okay, number five. Kiwi cousins' names. <laughs> <laughs> what colours do the rugby team? Ooh. 
the South Sydney Rabbitohs wear? Whoa. What colours do the rugby team, the Sydney Rabbitohs? Look and pike are similar. There you go. Well, Jamie would know he's, he's a bloody good fisherman, yeah. old Jamie. Yes. We could get him on the show and do a, a, oh, fish, a fishing, a fishing segment. Fishing segment. Mm. So we go white, red, green. That's one, right. red and green will do. Yeah, one, two, three. What are we after? Four, five. Five. What, next one. It's the Don. The red Don, and green. Red, green. Yeah. The Don. Well done. The Don needs to catch up. You're not even on the board. So well done. All right. Okay. Question, Question six. Number six. And it's three again. It's three again. Oh. Here we go, guys. Oh, this is an easy one. Red and green. And Greg said red, green, and ooh, it. Ooh, it. <laughs> it's meant to say well, it does, but I like taking. Shite. I like taking the Mickey out of Greg. and his S has been mixed up. Not a, not a rugby team either. Where is James? Where are you, James? We're missing you. He's there. He's there. With a glad no, day. I haven't. <laughs> no, not Jamie. James. James um, O'Dwyer from uh, yeah. Ballarat. I haven't seen him. Anyway, anyway, oh, question. Anderson, yeah. Question. Yeah. Six. Thank you very much, Glenn. What is the tallest mountain in Australia? We're looking for number three. It's not Mount Wellington. Three again. Well, it's not. It is. It is. League team. Woo. Not a rugby team either, Glenn. Kilimanjaro. Oh, did I say league? Sorry. Not a rugby Sorry team about either, that, right? Glenn. League Everest. team. Whoa. What is the tallest mountain in Australia? They made a song out of this, didn't they? Yeah. Um, no? can, can, I can't give a hint. You can no. say me not all. I can say me, no. You just did. No, don't do it then. No, don't do it. Oh, here we go. Yeah, One. Yeah. It's not Everest. Probably. That's it. One. One. Two. Mm. No. No. We're going to go that one. Cosy. Oh, are we gonna, yeah. It's the captain. T- what, was, what was the dice? Oh, it was, it was, it was three, three, wasn't it? It was yeah, only three, yeah. yeah, yeah Cap- so. Captain Rob. Rob. <laughs> yeah, wrong state to the Don. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> Razor's, Razor's got Greg's internet tonight. It's very slow. Oh, hang on. Greg's got a very good internet. Yeah, he has not. Yeah, Where's Brent not. tonight? I haven't yeah. seen Brent either. So. Okay. Although his first day of holiday, so it's probably. Oh, actually, we feel oh, like we're. Better. Roll the dice. This question. Oh, six. Say six. Didn't roll very well, but six. Six, six it is. It is. Six for uh, our uh, or multiple choice, Glenn. Ooh. New Zealand people. Multiple um, choice. Uh, multiple choice. Uh, question seven. Which country is hosting the 2022... When? 2022. Yeah. 2022. Uh, Winter Olympics. Italy, S- South Korea, Beijing or France? What was it? Italy, South Italy, Korea. Italy, South Korea, Beijing, or France. <laughs> okay, and we're after it's number... Fri- it's French for yoghurt. <laughs> French for yoghurt. Yes. We're after question, answer number six, the correct so six what, what's answer. What's hosting it? Which, which one of those? Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> oh, it might have been the way, it might have been my language. The way I was I'm getting excited because we're, we're getting close to the, uh, to Russia, the wheel time. Got a Russia. No, well, Russia's not even on there, is it? No. No, you didn't say that. What's A? Rob, what's A? <laughs> We got, got one. You want the answer? So we got one there. One a, there. One, two. Oh, wait, wait a minute. What? What? Is, what's, what's a? Two. Alice Springs. What's one. happening? Oh, Stop everyone! Right. Which country is hosting the 2022 Winter Olympics? Italy, South Korea, Beijing, or France? Italy. Hey. Yeah. I think we got there. What's There's what's one. One. Two. No, we were back there. Oh, were well, we? Let's go back. Yeah, let's have to go roll. back. Hey, no, hang on. Guys, you're out of control. No. That's one, it. One, two, two, three, three. That's it. Four. No, oh, we're six. six. Sorry. Keep going. Go. Five. One more. <laughs> I can't care. One more, Ben. <laughs> what is A? What does everyone keep writing A for? That's Italy, isn't it? Six. Benny, Benny Presnell. Benny Presnell. <laughs> He's on. <laughs> I, I actually lost. I actually lost what I was doing. <laughs> I've totally lost. That what is I'm so doing. unusual for you. Oh, I'm sorry. About that. <laughs> it's Beijing, just get have another. Beer, it's Beijing. Right? Spin the world. I just want and everyone's right now. Now just... he's right in Finland. <laughs> what the bloody hell, Rob? <laughs> what's... I, I just want to spin the wheel now. Yeah, what's it. coming? It's coming. <laughs> I've had Norway's in there too. Holy hell. Hmm? Oh, because everyone's right in A. Oh, there, a? What's A? It wasn't right anyway. Hey, oh, that's, nah, that's what Fonzie <laughs> said, wasn't it? Oh, what? Fonzie, he said that, hey. didn't he? Hey. All right, looking for number three. Three. Okay. That's question number... Beijing num- is in the country. Question what? Beijing is in the country. I didn't make the question. Did you see what Jamie wrote? <laughs> what did he write? It's your typing. Afghanistan. <laughs> a for Afghanistan. <laughs> Beijing is in a country. Yes, I know it's not a country. I'm allowed to put trick questions in, aren't I? Midnight, or there's one. Well, there you go. One country. Yeah. Question number eight. We're looking for number three, guys. Right. Be quick on your fingers. 
on your legs or whatever you want to be on. <laughs> where, where is the Australian <laughs> men's cricket team currently ranked? Where is the Australian oh. men's cricket test team currently ranked? Mm. Yeah. Mm. Oh, I better watch this now. Yeah. Um, there one. one. Yes. Two. Two. Oh, like Forty-six. <laughs> Sorry. The captain. Rob. Rob the again. Captain Fettuccini is on the board. Now let me tell you, Glenn. They are ranked number one. They are very, very closely by one point away from from our neighbours, New Zealand. From our New Zealand. Razor Ray's hometown yes. of New Zealand. Uh, our neighbours. Razor Ray. Okay. All right. Oh. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Well, they didn't roll. I'm not. Oh no, I'm not going to do nine. Or are we? I suppose I have to. It was a nine. It's a nine. Just before I read this. Oh. <laughs> Low on the list. Seventy-two. Benny doesn't like cricket, and, and Jamie always just says Ricky Ponting. New Zealand isn't a town again. What? New Zealand isn't a town again. Why? What happened in New Zealand? I don't know. What happened in New Zealand? Well, Rob's saying it's not a town again. Really? It isn't a town again. What does that mean, Rob? Kiora Kaz. Kiora Kaz. Yeah. <laughs> ah, the Razor Ray and the uh, Rob Fittichi. We love the, we love New Zealand. We do. We do. Uh, anyway. All right. Um, here's, here's, question here's, nine. Is, it, is this tough? It's not tough, is it? No, I love this question. Yeah, this is my... I'd get this. Yeah. Do it. Yeah. Only because I'm old. We're looking for number nine. Okay, question nine, and geez, I feel, we feel at oh, home. We question feel nine at, and number nine. Y yes, I know, and we feel at home doing this. Do it. Question nine, which bar did Sam Malone run? Oh. Which bar did Sam Malone run? Oh, anyone, anyone. Um, New Zealand is a country, not a town. Yeah, which oh, yeah, we Sam know. Malone, can we? No. We're not giving any No. Make him sweat on No, this everyone knows yes. their name. One, oh. two. Hang on, are we missing? One, two. One, two, three. Three. No, it's not the frothy. Four, Four five, six. six. Everybody seven, knows your name. Eight. Seven, eight. That's not it. Jamie! Jamie. Henderson, come on down. That's it. Jamie, Jamie H. Yeah, he's on the board. So obviously it's cheers. Everyone knows yeah. that. Yeah, cheers. cheers. Go. All right, you can stop. You well, can I was stop. I was giving it a while. <laughs> <laughs> Had a few before I got into the quiz. Everybody knows your name. All right. Oh, no. Do I have to do it? I have to, yeah, don't you I? have to do it, yeah. Oh, I hate this dice. Can we get in a smaller dice? No. All right. <laughs> <laughs> well, not me. Don't you know Cheers? Do, do you not? You don't like Cheers? The Don doesn't like Cheers. I don't like Cheers. All right, here we go. Question number Cheers. 10. If Leah was here, she'd know this. Oh, she definitely knows this one. Mm. Looking for the ninth answer, guys. One and a half litres of champagne is known as what? One and a half litres of yes. champagne is known <laughs> as what? We're looking for number nine. And he was a big man on TV in a television program once. Juanita is from Western Australia Razor, from Thornley. Um, did know the Blake's yes. name. There we go. One, one two. two. Yummy. <laughs> <laughs> Three. <Sorry. laughs> Four. Four, yeah, five, yes, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight. nine. Oh, it's Jamie, Jamie again. Jamie Just Anderson. bit bloody Corey. He's coming in like he's rolling. There you go. Yeah, there there you go. Guess Jesus. what time it is, oh, ladies and gentlemen. God. Guess what time it is. Bum bum bum. That's it. I need to move this because we we get very loud. Yeah, just right there too. Don't right. move it too far away. Here we go. Here we go. Here we I go. suppose you want to spin the wheel again. I, I got to, can I spin the wheel? No, can spin it yet. No, I'm just getting. I just like playing with it here. So. Okay. Now I've already picked this. This is number seven that we're gonna we're gonna go for, right? Mm -hmm. do, do you want to ask it or do you want me to ask it? Oh, I can ask it. I think I can do a bit of a bit of. Oh, I think you, I might need a bit of a hammer. Um, bits of a bit of okay. time. Okay. Oh, when do we spend? Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Permanent texture. Oh, I don't. That's not permanent. It's a. Uh, it's a whiteboard. You, know you want to put something on there, do you? We, we, we're on the move here. Yeah, look at this. This is live TV, guys. We are on the run. We've got our sponsor here at the moment. He's about to do something that's crazy. Um, what are you going to put? Calm <laughs> down, Ray. Oh, is that it? CGL oh, I see everyone was excited yeah. about like a car or like something. We, we, uh, thought we, were, we thought we were doing a house or a uh, car. No, or... Rob, Rob would be excited. He collects them. He, he gets would. it again. He, he gets another one. All right. 
You know the question. Okay, you yeah. have to do the question and spin the wheel. Uh, okay, I'll just spin the wheel. <laughs> <laughs> it's a who am I question, guys. So uh, sit. Yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> who am I? Here we go. I'm looking for number seven for the correct answer as well. I'm going to put this up here so I can read it. All right. So whoever gets this correct, number seven gets to spin the wheel. It's older than me by a year, this. Yeah, really? Mm. Uh, you'll have to help me with this one. I, yeah. Okay. Uh, who am I, guys? I was born on the 3rd of July, 1962, in... Is it Syracuse? Syracuse. 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 In New York, the United States. All right? Yes, you're right. I was yes. Jeff. Yes, I am Jeff. I am an American actor and a producer with a net worth of $570 million. It's not Ricky Ponding. Um... <laughs> I began acting in the early 1980s, and you may know me from Jerry Maguire or as Ethan Hunt. I've been married to actress Mimi Rogers, Nicole Kidman, and Katie Holmes. It's not Eddie Murphy. <laughs> Eddie Murphy. Right That's back. one. Two. Seven. Three, four, five, six. Next one. Seven, it's Corey. You get to spin the wheel. That's <laughs> Corey. No, he does not spin the wheel. Oh, yeah, you don't get to spin the wheel. Oh, but he's right. here. He should spin the wheel. Yeah, he's should he? Stubby, but I don't get to spin the wheel. No, I can't spin the wheel. We both spin the wheel, Corey. <laughs> what Corey does That's get... What What Corey oh, does oh, get... Oh, so you get 30 bucks yourself. Hey. What, what Corey... Hey. What, Corey? Yeah, where do you want to start? The thing is, where would you like to start on the I'll, wheel? I'll well, I started right on the right frothy shirt, because I still haven't got one. Yeah, okay. Where are we starting? Blue. Blue on the light blue. Light blue. Oh, light blue there. Yeah. Yeah. Just, uh, Glenn's yeah. colour blind. Oh, I'm colour blind, so you can help me. It's right at the bottom of Glenn. Right down the aisle, the frothy shirt yeah. there. There frothy we go. Frothy shirt. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> just for people out there who don't know, here's Need a couple of I couldn't get my head around. We've got a frothy shirt. We've got a Corey's Garden Landscape holder at $30. We've got it. You're the next guest if it comes up green. You, you actually come onto the show as a guest. You're a contortionist. Uh, <laughs> a fifty dollars calls my voucher. We've got a frothy key ring and a five dollars scratch it, which is on the way to Nat Arnold up in the Gold Coast. A twenty dollars BWS voucher, a frothy cooler, or a twenty dollars dusk voucher for the ladies. Well, you know, ladies well let's just get on with it. Let's spin the wheel. The ladies. Let's spin the wheel. Spin. What spin, was it? Spin. Now, here we spin, go. Spin, All right. Spin. All right. Spin. Oh shit. What happened? What happened? Oh, you, hit the, you hit the so spinner. Oh, hang on, we're going to start again. Oh, you should not be spinning the wheel. $120 BWS you got to tighten up. Tighten up. Tighten up your wing nuts, mate. Oh, dodgy deal. Tighten your wing nuts. We're going to go back. Tighten your wing nuts. Dodgy. No, All let's right, just you, do it. You, you, no, we're going to go back to... Yeah. <laughs> That's it. All, All right. right. We've got spin, please tips spin, to come. Spin, Stay spin, tight. Spin. Oh, jeez. Oh! It's nothing. Oh, we... We can't. We're really going to give him another yes, spin. Right. Go on, go on, spin it. Like no, we spin. do. He's, he, yeah, we won't start on. We'll start on. Just that. spin the bloody wheel! <laughs> <laughs> and stop hitting the knob thing! <laughs> ah, it's nothing! <laughs> sorry, oh, Corey. Sorry, Corey. You're destined, I, you are destined to have nothing. That's why I, <laughs> that's why I spin the wheel. <laughs> there you go, guys. <laughs> nothing on the wheel this evening. Oh, oh well. It'll jackpot, will it? Yes, it'll jackpot, jackpot, jackpot next pot. week. It's going to jackpot. It's going to jackpot now. <laughs> oh, God. Right, jackpot. Jackpot. jackpot now. <laughs> Come back next week. You never know what's going to be out there next week. We're going to jackpot it. Ah, God, how exciting oh, is that? I'm going to find hey. something to go out there. Well done, guys. I'm beside myself at the moment. <laughs> Thank you so Good much, night, everyone. Well. Uh, Rob wants to know, is that written in English, Corey? <laughs> yes, I okay, struggle to read it myself. A good thing windows don't have colours. Yes, that's true too. Ah, uh, yes. Okay, new tech glass. Ah, oh, oh, yes, yeah. uh, while we're at it. Ah, here we go. Here we go. Just for Rob up there, because he probably wants me to come up there and do a job for him at the moment. But, uh, yeah, to anyone, new tech glass for all your uh, balustrade, uh, the double glazing, uh, any knees out there. <laughs> Ring Cleave on 0419196100. You heard it here first, Friday there from you go. New Tech Glass. Um, look, a couple of questions there just come up. Big Fat Zero. Yeah, that's exactly what it was. Ray Wooden's having a bit of a protest here. The Razor Ray. I hope you're going to give everyone two spins now, boys. 
Ooh. You started this. Um, uh, was it wasn't meant to be, Corey? Uh, greatest Tazzy Glazier. There you go from the Captain Fettuccini. Uh, you're a good man, Rob. You're an honest man too. So what are we up to in here? Anyone else going on? Here we go. We're flying, we're flying into the tips. Oh, it's Gleaves tips time. Ah, Sit back. Go. Good lord. Sit back. Oh, good. 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 So, right. buddy, let's let's uh, let's just start from from the beginning and uh, let's yeah. see how much we won last week, mate. How did we go on Cleves Tips? So we we up there, we're rolling in money. We can uh, sponsor the wheel a bit more and put some big prizes on there. How are we travelling? We, we we didn't have much fun. Sorry, I can't hear, buddy. It wasn't real good. I can't hear still. <laughs> let's move this over a little bit closer to us because I can't hear a word you're saying. Say it again. Sorry. How do we how do we go, Glenn, with Cleves Tips can't, last I week? I can't say, Jeff, but all I can do. <laughs> You crap, yes. weren't you? You crap. Oh, he's gone. Juanita. Juanita uh, always uh, says, there we go. Let's there see how go. much <laughs> let's see how much mortgage is left. Boop. Yeah. Oh, um, the house has gone. Uh, <laughs> I was lucky. I was lucky to uh, get the groceries this week. I've, I've, uh, just, I've just been informed that we might have some fishing DVDs to throw on oh, the wheel we'll, next week. Cool. So, fishing DVDs. Yeah, oh, that'd be good. Um, like that. yeah. Oh, here we go. Uh, yes, we'll just gloss over that. Uh, <laughs> Any tips on greyhounds next week? The Rob wants to know if you can greyhounds. Do greyhounds. Well, we can do greyhounds. That's a horrible. Oh, hang on, we've got some paws on there. Oh, ice cream. Yeah, careful. we've got a bit of ice cream. Just let it, let it sit. All, All right, sit. Um, no, look, uh, we. Oh, oh, Craig's going. The Don's going for a break. He doesn't like it. Oh, I know, but look, Don, I tell you what, one bad week, uh, you can come back. You always come back, mate. It's like the Don. <laughs> didn't have too many bad weeks, though, did he? He had a bad one on the last one, uh, though, The didn't last he? one he the did. Don, so you even, had a shocker on the last the, one. Even the great tipsters have bad weeks, mm. and uh, let's face it, we had we oh. sold the farm, we sold everything last week. There you go, Winita. He likes to know what he's put something Okay. He's, he's lost his farm. All right, let's go straight into it tomorrow. Doom and Randwick again, Flemington, Morfordville. A little bit showery up in up in Doombin. A bit showery. Up you guys in Queensland, what's going on? Yeah, it's up rain. there. Friday it's a soft, and you are soft up there. Seven, <laughs> showery. Yeah. Race two, horse two. Uh, I, I had to pick this because it's after my daughter. Sophie's Gold Class. You like that? Well, you, Sophie's Gold Class? Yeah, but you can't go at the moment because they're shut. What? The Gold Class. No, she's Gold Class. Oh, I know, but the, the, oh, the cinema is. the cinema is, yes. Yeah. 320 fixed over there. So there's your, that'll start you off at, uh, uh, what, 12.12, so you've got to be up ready for that one. Tropical rain, I've been told. Uh, 122, race four, horse four, reckless choice. Ah, there you go. Ah, uh, that's, that's what I do normally, a reckless choice. That's it's Cleese. seven. That's seven dollars $7 fixed. So we're still at Dooman, race that's seven, right. horse five, roasted. Right. Look, it's uh, five dollars fixed at the moment. Race eight, horse nine, st 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 stuttering. Thirteen seventy and six fifty. Put a bit of money on that. That'll come in. That one. Put your house on it. Oh, absolutely. Ray Ranwick. Okay, what's going on with it? It's beautiful down here. <laughs> heavy, heavy, heavy nine overcast. <laughs> what's he doing? They haven't gone to bed, have they? No, they're talking um, about the beer. It was a oh, terrible. It was yeah. a terrible pour. There's no doubt about it. Ranwick. It was terrible. Heavy nine. It's very overcast over there. And look, I've only I've cut me bets back here. Race three. We've gone to horse two with a spoon. Oh. Not Ruth. Not, That's with, a, not with a knife. Reese. No, sorry, Reese. Reese. <laughs> not Reese. Like She's it. not riding. I like Reese with a spoon. Don't make fun of her. No, the bone is on. 15.20 at the moment. Is he making fun of her? No, I'm not. Fun. No, 15.20. I like and five. I'm going to get her on the show. Yeah, we'll, yeah, we'll probably will. 15.20 and 5.50. Don't get a sister with a fork. <laughs> Stop it, you. So when you when you won there at Randwick, it's very overcast there. I'd probably steer clear with that. One fifteen race for horse six. You can elaborate, uh, 5, 10 and 5. Okay. And then go straight down to Flemington. Oh, sorry. I was uh, we, we've got on the plane, we've got over the border, you know, and now we're down at uh, no, Flemington. No, you can't. We've got a soft 5, no, and I'm no, talking you, about the track. No, you can't. Uh, Showery. You can't. Uh, 11.45, <laughs> race 1, horse 3, man of peace. That's what we are there, Three ninety and 4. <laughs> 12.20, race two, Jeff. Horse one, checkerboard. So, can I ask you a question? 6.50 what and 6.50. What does soft 5 mean? I know soft means, obviously, it's a soft track, yeah. but what does 5 mean? Well, that's well, it's what's rated. It's scales. rated out of. Uh, it can get yeah. you go up to ten. Like so, a soft one. so ten would be mud. Two. Ten would be mud. Ten would be. There wouldn't be. Yes, they'd probably be calling it. He off. just said, "Don't say to Glenn that." Ten's a river. It's it's a lake. <laughs> yes. It's a lake. 
Yeah, there you go. Sorry, anyway, sorry, anyway, race two horse one check aboard if you've missed that because you wouldn't want to miss it. Six fifty and six fifty one thirty race four horse three. What you say to me, Cleve, when you go out? Get Cooleth. the hell out. Cooleth. That's it. Four dollars and four eighty. Uh, two forty five race six horse four Chapada. I do say get the hell out. Don't know you do <laughs> Chapada. Four seventy and four forty. Who farted? Chibolo. Exactly. <laughs> And then race seven, uh, probably a Cleves tips this one, uh, King of Hastings, uh, 320. No, listen to you. Uh, four, race eight, horse six, Vas Vacillator. Hey, careful. Vacillator. Oh, I didn't know where you were going then. <laughs> no, Vacillator. Good Jeez. horse. He's getting a bit slippery, Glenn. He, he is. is he? He's, he's very slippery. Yeah. 9, 40 and 7. And uh, race nine, horse two, Prezado, 440 and 550. Just to let you know, the Don's back, but you're still going. I just, just, oh, I'm just yeah, well in. done. He, he, he probably just makes that. He's writing all this down there. <laughs> 336, race seven. And this is at Muppetville. We've jumped over another border. Ooh. So we've, we've been in... Uh, Isolation there, mate. You just, take, you just take your time. No, this is it. People this have is, got nothing else to do. This is the last one. This is close tips, last one. 336, horse seven, horse four, box on Collins. I, what is, sorry. And we're not in Melbourne because we're not boxing on Collins, but it, it is called box on Collins. 660 and six. A box 60. on Collins, isn't it? So 660, when I say that, that 660 is the toad. Yes. And 660 at the moment is fixed. <laughs> fixed on. Okay. Well, that's that is Cleve's tips. Let's hope that uh, we turn it around. Yeah, and, turn uh, around. That's what happens in life. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. Yeah, well, some people lose a little bit more than others. So, but anyway, yeah, that's, 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 that's how she goes. That's mate. how life rolls. So. Every life's yeah. a box of chocolates. That was Cleve's tips. It was Cleve's tips. I'm not ready. <laughs> <laughs> Do the horse for us. Ooh. Ready? <laughs> That's even better. There right we go. Now the dawn has just said no. I'm actually in, in, installing my new Fitbit for the big July. Well done, ah, mate. Yeah, well, nice. well done, Don. And actually, guys, I'm just going to put this out there because no one's left here except for the eight people, which is good because I don't want everyone to hear this. They normally but, go to bed, don't they? Always. No, well, as soon as Cleve Sims comes oh, on, they all go. God, I but anyway, why. I have set myself a challenge, Glenn, for the fly into July. Yes, I am going to lose ten kilos. Well, oh, does that mean does it, do I have to do that? You don't have to do anything. You can Three do whatever you want. Do it. But I'm oh, okay. I'm we're gonna, all doing it. I'm going to lose ten kilos in July. So there you go. I've put it out Let's there, guys. With this big fat gut. Work with what? Work ten with Corey kilos for a day. You'll lose ten. Three of us away each other. <laughs> <laughs> the second horse. Hey. Thanks, Renita. Hey. Weigh in on a Friday. Weigh in on a Friday. You can do whatever you want. All right. No, what we'll do? I'll win on it. I'm, I'm just the worst. The worst thing is, for I'm, I'm just about to buy myself another well, don't buy pair of trading pants. I might have to get a couple of sizes down. Well. <laughs> yes, Jeff, you're chopping a leg off. Oh, I'm trying ten thousand steps. Ten thousand steps, really. Gosh. Don. Hey, Don, is Kerry still coming? Coming in the team? Do you know? Can you let me know? Since we've got uh, yeah, got a spot there. So um, there you go. I think that's all we've got tonight. I've just got. To, I've got. To, I've got to say again. Thank you so much to uh, to Kate Jezelenko. Oh, you beauty. No, she was spectacular and uh, so looking forward to because you did. How fun she had. Uh, good. She had. Oh no, and uh, we've got uh, the great uh, Trent Crow. Well, it's next hopefully, week. Yes, hopefully. Yes. Yes. Shh. But that's secret. <laughs> secret. I'm not allowed to say that. that. What does that Sorry. say? My, uh, my goal is to add 10 steps a day on the 10,000. Juanita. Well, yeah. I'm going to have to pick What's up you, you guys are going to do better than me. So so, so I'll, I'll do me walk. Woo! Does, does that mean I'm in front? Well, because I'm working at home a lot, you don't get to walk in your own house. So it's, well, you it's can. Strong. You walk back to the fridge. And <laughs> <laughs> but I, I, I'm up to about 5,000 steps a day now. That's, that's that's terrible. Well, I'm working at home. What, what do you do? Talking about. Well, I'm not doing a lot of that. But there you go. Oh, so, you can to the I will do ten thousand steps, guys. I will match you, and, and I'm going to eat properly, and I'm not going to drink beer. That's not true. I am going to drink beer. So. <laughs> all right, we'll have the fat way in on. <laughs> uh, look, uh, all jokes aside, <laughs> thanks, yeah, thanks to uh, the all, all, the, <laughs> all the people that uh, again join in every week, and and thanks to Corey and Ange. The, yeah, they are on the on the on the wheel now and beautiful work. Uh, a little bit of competition, mate. It's good, isn't yes, it? Yes, certainly is, mate. And thanks, yeah. thank you once again. I made a little bit of a post on Facebook last week you know, about uh, you wouldn't know because you're not on Facebook. No, nah, um, no. Nah, about how much we appreciate all you guys coming every week and playing the trivia and talking to <laughs> us and making the, the the show so much fun. And um, yeah, I, I can't I can't say that enough. I'm going to cry. Why are you crying? Can you say it again? Because I'm emotional. 
Why? Let's say it again. Oh, because my beer's half empty. No, I, just, I seriously just do thank everyone for coming on because we have a great night. No, we do. We, we enjoy the company and that. Greg actually left. He really did leave when he said that I'm going to go. He, he went. He had to go. He spat the dummy. He, he might have to go to the toilet. Greg. He went. He ran down. He, he was gone. He's going down to get all clues tips on. I guarantee you, that's where he's going, mate. He's secret. He, he, I hope I haven't. Oh, by the way, I'm going to uh, cry again. Oh, by the way, gamble irresponsibly. Yes. Because yes. yeah. Greg, I hope I haven't, uh, you know, haven't switched him into being a gambler. Oh, I don't think you have, no, mate. I, I don't think you have. So, no. Let me just throw out one more time. Thank you to Adam Mears last night for yep. their interview, guys. That'll come up uh, probably next week sometime. Go out and buy a book. Fantastic read. Good read. She's, um, uh, yeah. One of the things that she, I, I said to her, Glenn, and I'm pretty impressed with this because I said to her that I, I was never a, a push bike fan or a BMX I was. But, we rode bikes, didn't we? Yeah, but I, I wasn't into Very cycling good. or anything like that, but no. I watched her in every race that she raced and she said that is so nice to know that someone who wasn't involved in the sport yeah, I wanted to did. watch it because... Well, we met that. I think so, Anna, thank she you. Inspired, you she inspired people to watch this. Champion. Yeah. All right. That's it. We're done. Good night, everyone. We're done for another week. We'll be back next Friday night. We'll have uh, someone else to talk to, or maybe we won't. We'll see what happens. But uh, anyway. I'm, wait I'm waiting for someone to spin up on the wheel. You're the next uh, our next guest because yeah. yeah. I want to just, just talk to one of our viewers. We'll put another one on well, we've viewer. had a lucky customer. Ooh. They got a key ring, didn't they? That was yeah, Nat, Nat Arnold, Nat, Nat Arnold, and, and a five dollar scratchy. So she's and she, win 20, she has loved that key ring. Yeah. I can tell you. Live weigh in on the frothy practice pouring beers this week, lads. That we we will, Rob. It's, it's a frothy. Yeah, it's a frothy. It's, a, it's, a frothy. Yeah, it's, it's a frothy called the frothy. Yeah, uh, Rob. Thanks for joining us, everyone. <laughs> Thank you, Kate Jezalinko. Yes. You beauty. beauty. Okay. Thank you, Corey. Corey's garden and landscaping. Thank Thanks, you. Range, coming in. Thank you, the producer over here. He does all the work behind the computer. Does an amazing job. Yeah. And thanks, Jeff. Oh, yeah, thanks, Corey. No uh, well done, mate. Well Good night, everyone. Have Good a great night. weekend. Stay safe. And uh, thanks again for coming and subscribe if you haven't. Goodbye, everyone. Bye, everyone. Bye. You're listening to the Friday Frothy. What a fantastic show.